Welcome to Get Tech, and this isn't coffee. My name is Elizabeth, and today we're going to build a smart scale. Ooh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be huge. 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 Old scales are boring and don't give you the morning motivation you need. Traditional scales just leave you alone to judge yourself. But we have a fix for that. Our smart scale can send you text messages and give you the motivation you need when you're weighing yourself. Like, if you gain weight, you might get a message that says, you are what you eat. Maybe you should eat a skinny person. You have gained a pound. That hurts. Motivation. Or, if you lose weight, you might get a message like, you're so skinny, if I'd slap you, you'd get a paper cut. You've lost one pound. You go, girl. Let me read you some of the ones that I've got. That's too much bacon, said no one ever. Your weight didn't change much since last time. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. I am from Tennessee. You probably just forgot to go to the gym. That's like what, eight years in a row? Congratulations on nothing. You weigh practically the same amount. All you need to build this project is a Raspberry Pi, a Wii balance board, and an initial state account. It'll take about 20 minutes to do, and this is a beginner level project, but the amount of fun is immeasurable. See what I did there? To follow along with this video, go to the GitHub Wiki. This will allow you to copy and paste all the code that we've written for this project. You're not gonna have all the info here in this video to be able to do it, so you need to go to that website. This is not a suggestion, you must do this. Thank you. We're starting with a Raspberry Pi 3. If you have an older version, there is a GitHub wiki on how to install the Bluetooth dongle, so you'll need to do that first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna install the Bluetooth module onto the Raspberry Pi, and then we'll be able to connect the Pi and the Wii Balance board. You're gonna do the command of sudo apt-get install Python Bluetooth. Once this runs, you'll be able to connect the Pi and your board. You're gonna need to clone the files from the SmartScale GitHub. Do a cd tilde to go to your home directory, and then do a git clone with the GitHub website that you can find on the wiki. That'll put the new files into the SmartScale directory. To go to the directory, do cd SmartScale. There you'll see a SmartScale file and a Wii board test file. We're gonna start with the test file first to make sure we can communicate between the Pi and your board. You're gonna do a sudo python Wii board test to run that file. It'll say discovering board, press red sync button. To find the red reset button, flip your board over. If you have standard batteries in, you'll be able to take the cover off and push the reset button. Or, if you're using a rechargeable battery pack like we are, you can just push the button on the outside, and then you'll see the blue light blinking, and you'll know that it's connecting. You'll get a message in the command prompt that lets you know the connection was successful. There's two hacks we use to make sure that the board is connected and easy to reset. The first thing we do we use this rechargeable battery pack that comes with a wall AC adapter. Using this instead of standard batteries allows for us to keep the board constantly connected and powered. Otherwise, your standard batteries are gonna run out, your board's gonna shut off, and you're gonna have to start all over. The second hack that we have is for the inconvenient location of the reset button. You'll need a pencil, three felt pads, and some tape. You're gonna place the pencil over top of the reset button, Tape it down with the felt pads facing upwards, like so. That way, when you flip it over and you need to hit the button, you can do it like this. Bluetooth enabled. Balance board connected. Step one complete. Now we're ready to log into our initial state account. If you don't already have one, it's easy to sign up and you get a 14 day free trial. It's only $9.99 per month, but if you have an educational email, it's free. We're going to load the initial state streamer module onto your Raspberry Pi. This allows us to stream the data from the Pi and the board to your initial state account. Copy the curl command from the GitHub Wiki to run the initial state streamer. Once it's running, it'll ask you if you want to save the example file. Enter Y for yes, and then it'll ask you if you want to change the destination. Just click enter and it'll save it to the default destination, which is perfectly fine. It'll ask you to enter your initial state, username, and your initial state password. Once you put those in, installation will be complete. 
Now we can edit the example file using the nano command in the text editor. You're gonna put in your initial state streaming access key that you can find from your account page. Save and exit the text editor. You're gonna run the file using sudo python isexample.py. Then you can view the example data in your initial state dashboard. Ooh, example file data. Wonderful. Now for the real stuff. Open the SmartScale file using the nano command. Once you're in the text editor, you need to update the access key with the key that you got from your initial state account. You can also change if you want it to be metric units or not metric units. What are not metric units? Standard units? Weird American units. Currently it's set at imperial units because metric is set to false. If you want to change it to metric units, set metric to true. Once you do that, save and exit, and you're ready to be humiliated. I mean, motivated by text message. We're gonna run this again using the sudo python command. You won't have any data in your dashboard until you actually step on the scale, but let's set up our trigger first. So, go to your data bucket, go to settings, go to the trigger tab. Then, we're gonna click update, match, LB for weight, and then enter your phone number. And now we're ready to weigh ourselves. Done! It's here. This is our finished product. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to this YouTube series. What we've learned today will help us in future projects, like a smart beer fridge that can let you know how much beer you've consumed and when you need to buy more, or an Amazon Dash doorbell, which is silent and sends you a text. If you have any questions, comment below and let us know what you wanna see next. Until next time, something, 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 because we don't have a tagline yet, but we're gonna come up with one. See you soon. See you next time. Thanks for coming. Bienvenue. Arrivederci.